Hey guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to create a Google form. So you're going to go to google.com slash forms. That is the address. It's going to bring you to this page. Now, if you already have saved um, forms and they're going to pull up, but I always go into template gallery up here and I will just go through and I will just kind of find, you know, which which form best represent what I want to do. So for example, in this video, I'm showing you how to create an order form, a pre-order form for a 4D mascara. So I would probably click this one. They're all um, editable. That's not really a word, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so you can just go ahead. I'm doing this on a laptop or a computer. So this um, you can just go ahead and change. So I would type something like this and everything else is you can edit. So here um, put in your description. Um, I would say about the 4D. And then these, you just click on them and you can edit them. So I would probably, I would probably look to see what they kind of have already. So we don't need email, phone number and name because they already have it. But I would probably just be like, um, I probably would get rid of this one. All I want to know is what is, what, um, what, how many do they want to order? So I would say how many, 4D mascara do you want to order? And you can go over here, but click over here and I would do probably a checkbox. So here's an option one. So I would type in one. And um, if you want to go all the way up to number, so let's go up to number four. So, oops, let's type two, press enter press enter again, and you just change that to four. So let's just say we're up to four. So how many 4D mascara? Oh, shoot. How many 4D mascaras do you want? I don't know. Okay. Um, and then I would probably delete this. And there we go. Then I would move on to the next one. Um, I would say in this one, how would you how would you like to make payment again stick with check boxes for for this one and then you could put whatever um uh whatever you are going to accept okay and so say we're only going to accept paypal and credit card we're going to x this out and we're going to x this out okay and then you just kind of click off to the side and um, I don't think there's really anything else really that we need. All we want to know is how many do they want? How would they like to make payment? So click on this box. You're going to click on the garbage. I would get rid of this and contact info. I would get rid of that because you have your name. So I would just put first and last name. And so for here, you can keep short answer. Okay, because that's what makes sense. So they're going to put in their name, click down here. Um, if you want their phone number, if you want to text them, great. Keep it a short answer and email. Um, so I would just say um, your email address for tracking. Some people are, are still a little iffy when they give their address. Again, I would just leave a short answer and um, I would probably just get rid of this. Now, this is just an example, and then I would get rid of this. So this is an example for a 4D mascara. So pre-order 40, you're gonna put in your description here, what you want them to do, um, how many do you want, how would you like to make payment, what's your first and last name, um, your phone number, I'm gonna take that out, I don't need their phone number, first and last name, and their email. All right, so then you literally take this URL up here, okay? And you, this is the, the, the URL that you are going to copy and paste and you're gonna put in your post or you're gonna send people. This is for your form, okay? Now when people fill it out, 
uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come back to your form. So go ahead and you will click on your form because you will be in Gmail and it will, it will recognize what account you're in. This responses will be filled and you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to go by individual to see who filled out your form and then you can uh, send them a message directly. So this is there. It's super, super easy. You can actually even go up here and you can, um, you can edit it, I think. Yeah, you can customize it, you can change all kinds of colors, you can do anything. There's totally different designs. So hopefully, the... okay, mommy's coming. All right, all right, guys, I gotta go. And that's how you create the form.